Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I pin curl my hair in a vintage inspired way. So if you'd like to recreate these waves that I'm showing off here, please follow along. I'm gonna start this on dry, just freshly washed hair that I air dried. I'm gonna be needing a brush, my homemade setting lotion, and a combination of hair clips and bobby pins. Finally, I'm going to be using a hair tie to section off pieces of my hair. First, I section off all the hair behind my ears and tie it off to keep it out of my way while I work on the front section. I'm mostly going to be sectioning on the go, but basically we are going to create rows all around our head and divide those rows into little squares of hair that we are going to pin curl under. After I tied it off, I clean my side part up and clip the smaller side section out of the way. We are now ready to be creating our first row on the top section. I'm going to be using two fingers to measure out the thickness of my rows. This way it's easier for me to keep all my rows the same size. After sectioning off the first row, I clip the hair underneath it away. This is what I meant when I said I was going to be sectioning on the go. Now, starting from the back of the row, I'm sectioning off my first square. Let's make our first standing pin curl. I'm spraying my section down with setting lotion and then brushing it through to evenly coat the strands and brush the hair flat, kind of like a ribbon. Then I over direct the hair and I put it in between my middle finger and index finger to keep my hair as flat as possible. I slide my hair between my fingers, keeping my hair flat until I'm about two thirds of the way down. I then wrap the remaining hair around my finger, making sure to not twist the ends and also keep it flat. Finally, I slide the curl off my finger, tucking the ends as I do so and roll up the rest of the strand of hair. I'm careful to keep the hair as flat as possible and keep with the little circle shape I created. You want to be able to look through your pin curl. Finally, I roll the curl against my head. The over direction should make it easy for the curl to rest on its own base. And then I use a clip to keep it in place. I'm creating two more pin curls for this row. So I'm sectioning off the next piece of hair and repeating this whole process. Spray, brush, over direct, Wrap around your finger, slide it off, and roll the rest of the way. Pin in place and on to the next section. Most of the curls are going to be set this way, as a standing pin curl. Next, I'm sectioning off the second row. And once again, starting from the back and working my way to the front, I'm curling all the pieces of hair, just like I did with the first row. Now, be careful when you are brushing through new sections close to your already existing pin curls. Because if you accidentally brush an already existing pin curl, you're probably gonna need to redo it again. And trust me, pin curling your hair is enough work as it is. I tend to take about 40 to 45 minutes to pin curl my whole head. It used to be a bit shorter when my hair was shorter, but now it's longer, it takes me quite a while. As I finish this second row on the top section, I'm going to be taking one more row for my top section. Since this section is a bit smaller, since it's closer to my ears, I'm only going to pin curl this in two sections instead of three. After doing these two standing pin curls, the top section of my hair will be done. So we'll be moving on to the side. For the side, we're going to be creating flat pin curls, but first, Let's make our first row on the side. Divide my first row into two squares. I start with the back and roll like I did with the standing pin curl, but instead of setting the curl against my head, I lay it flat on its base, trying to preserve the circle shape I created and using a bobby pin to keep it in place. I repeat this process once more for this first row. Now, I use bobby pins on the side of my head to make it a bit more comfortable to sleep in. 
The other clips I prefer to actually keep my hair in place, but are not too comfortable to lie on. After I've done that, I've only got a small section of hair left, so I decided to turn that into one ring curl. And then, after pinning that in place, our side is done. Let's repeat this whole process on the other side. There are a few reasons why I set my hair the way I do. I use standing pin curls for most of my head because I prefer the fact that they give me added volume and also the fact that they dry quite a bit quicker for me than the flat pin curls do. Probably because there's more space for air to touch the pin curl and dry it. But I use the flat pin curls on the side of my head because first of all, that's the space of my head where some I have the least amount of hair, so they do tend to dry on the side of my head. And to make sleeping a lot more comfortable, because standing pinkles on the side of my head and trying to sleep on my sides just don't really go together. So for my own comfort, I use the flat pink curls all over the side of my head and the standing pink curls basically everywhere else. Now, this side section turned out to be a tiny bit bigger than my other side, so I'm actually finishing off the last row with two pink curls instead of one. It honestly all depends on how much hair you have. Just try to keep your sections about the same size, you know, on your head, like the same square. This will also help you with a nice waveform when you brush out your curls later on. Anyway, let's move to the back. So I'm once again using two fingers to measure out my first row. And after I've sectioned that first row off, I'm tying off the rest of my hair so it doesn't get in my way. Now, after giving my first row a quick brush through, I'm just starting on one side and taking a section that doesn't feel too big and rolling it just like I did all these sections before. Honestly guys, once you get the hang of this, you can do this pretty much on autopilot. So <laughs> I tend to do this while listening to either a podcast or watching a movie, and it goes by pretty quick. Anyway, I just move from one side of the row to the other side, till the whole row is curled under. Then I'm taking my second row and repeating this whole process once again, tying off the rest of the hair to keep it out of the way. You get the process. So let's speed this up real quick and see what the end results look like when you do this all over the back of your head. And here we go. A lot of pink curls later, my whole head is done. As you can see, it's not perfect, but as long as it's kinda even, I'm glad with it. So yeah, I'm tying off with a scarf. When I go to sleep, I just use uh, this hair net kind of stuff. But if I'm actually going out, I use a bit prettier scarf like this. And now let's sleep. Good morning, it's 7 o'clock, I just made my coffee after putting on my makeup and now it's time to take these pink curls out. Let's all hope it goes better than doing my eyeliner because I stabbed myself in the eye three times. So, you know, if you can, you can barely see out of this eye. Who needs eyesight? So, time to take a scarf off. These big girls held pretty well. Pretty well. I did actually go running in them yesterday, so can't complain. I'm just gonna start with taking out the bottom ones. I'm gonna start brushing it out now. 
depending on my mood and how it goes, I'm gonna either use this round brush or just my regular fake tangle teaser. Because hey. But I did start with my round brush. And try not to be too aggressive. Which I normally am. Okay, so I'm just continuing brushing out my hair. I prefer to brush my hair out in sections because I think I said this before, but I have a lot of hair and if I try to take it all down and brush it out, it's kind of a pain to be honest. But I also get impatient and take out a whole lot of sections, so still end up kind of struggling to brush it out. So don't do what I do, do what I say and brush it out in sections. It takes me about, I guess, five minutes total to actually take out all the pink curls. And then the brushing out can take from 10 minutes to like 30 minutes if I'm really struggling or if I really want a well brushed out set. Now, don't be afraid to brush out your set because the brush out is really, really gonna make a difference. It's gonna make your hair go from these wild, crazy, Kind of cute curls, but once again kind of crazy, to this sleek, vintage-looking wave pattern. And at least for me, that's definitely what I'm going for. The most important part when you're taking out your curls is just making sure your curls are actually dry. That is critical. If your curls are even like the slightest bit still damp, this will not work. Because you will just brush out your curls. But if they are dry, then... Like I said, feel free to go crazy with your brush because you're not going to make those curls go away. You're only going to make them sleeker. As you can see, I just keep brushing my hair and I tend to brush the ends of my hair kind of on my hand and around the palm of my hand. This helps produce the frizz a lot and uh, helps me create that at least bottom curl in my hair. Now, the rest of the wave will probably form as you are brushing it out. Just, you know, be patient and keep at it till your hair looks like you want it to look. I also would like to quickly talk about setting lotion. In my years of pink curling, I've tried it all. No setting lotion, a lot of setting lotion, mousse, gel, homemade setting lotion. And the thing I ended up preferring was actually my homemade setting lotion. I do like to use a setting lotion, or mousse, or gel, or whatever, uh, because it does make my hair last a lot longer than if I just do it on damp hair. Now, the setting lotion I make is made from flaxseed, it's really easy, really quick, and also really cheap to make. And most of all, it doesn't give my hair this crunchy texture that other setting lotions have in the past, which I personally prefer. For me, it's a cheap and a natural option to keep my hair this way for about four to five days, which, you know, I definitely like. Finally, I'll spray it all over with hairspray and try to tame away my fizzies, which, you know, they kind of stay anyway, but it's fine. And then I'm done with my brush out. Now, I know this is not quite the quickest process, so thank you for sticking with me while I'll try to explain how I do this hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the process, what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, or how I'm doing it, please let me know down below. Also, I'm really curious, do you guys ever set your hair in pink curls? Or are you like, that takes way too much effort? Because I get it, but it is a few days worth of curls, so in my eyes, it's worth it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!